What is a coronavirus? Coronaviruses were first identified in the 1960s, but we don't know where they come from. They get their name from their crown-like shape. Sometimes, but not often, a coronavirus can infect both animals and humans. Most coronaviruses spread the same way other cold-causing viruses do. Do infected people coughing and sneezing, by touching an infected person's hands or face, or by touching things such as doorknobs that infected people have touched. Almost everyone gets a coronavirus infection at least once in their life, most likely as a young child. In the United States, coronaviruses are more common in the fall and winter, but anyone can come down with a coronavirus infection at any time. Coronavirus A coronavirus is a kind of common virus that causes an infection in your nose, sinuses, or upper throat. Most coronaviruses are not dangerous. Some types of them are serious, though. About 858 people have died from Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, MERS, which first appeared in 2012 in Saudi Arabia and then in other countries in the Middle East, Africa, Asia, and Europe. In April 2014, the first American was hospitalized for MERS in Indiana, and another case was reported in Florida. Both had just returned from Saudi Arabia. In May 2015, there was an outbreak of MERS in Korea, which was the largest outbreak outside of the Arabian Peninsula. In 2003, 774 people died from a severe acute respiratory syndrome SARS, outbreak. As of 2015, there were no further reports of cases of SARS. MERS and SARS are types of coronaviruses. But in early January 2020, the World Health Organization identified a new type. 2019 Novel Coronavirus, 2019 COV, in China. By late January, there were 300 confirmed cases in China, and a death count that was still in the single digits, but rising. And despite airport screenings, a traveler had brought the first case to the U.S. Often a coronavirus causes upper respiratory infection symptoms like a stuffy nose, cough, and sore throat. You can treat them with rest and over-the-counter medication. The coronavirus can also cause middle ear infections in children. Coronavirus Prevention Tips Prevention and treatment of the new coronavirus, there is currently no vaccine to prevent infection. The best way to do so is to avoid exposure to this virus. The CDC recommends the following everyday preventive actions to help prevent the spread of respiratory viruses. Wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. If soap and water are not available, use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth with unwashed hands. Avoid close contact with people who are sick. Stay home when you are sick. Cover your cough or sneeze with a tissue, then throw the tissue in the trash. Clean and disinfect frequently touched objects and surfaces. For travelers, travelers to China should avoid non-essential travel to Hubei, including the province's capital, Wuhan. Avoid contact with sick people. Discuss travel to China with their healthcare provider. Older adults and travelers with underlying health issues may be at risk for more severe disease. Avoid animals, alive or dead, animal markets, and products that come from animals, such as uncooked meat. Wash hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer if soap and water are not available. If you travel to China recently and feel sick with fever or a cough or have difficulty breathing, you should seek medical care right away. Before you go to a doctor's office or emergency room, call ahead and tell them about your recent travel and symptoms. Avoid contact with others. Do not travel while sick. Cover your mouth and nose with a tissue or your sleeve, not your hands, when coughing or sneezing. Like this video and click subscribe to join us Bright Life.